morning guys welcome back to a new vlog so today is wednesday um cole did not have school yesterday because it snowed again a little bit we didn't get a lot of snow but it was really cold and plus it was freezing raining so they just canceled school yesterday um he's on a two hour delay this morning so it's eight o'clock now i got about an hour before i got to put him on the bus he's in his room at the moment was eating and watching the dog movie hold husband's calling <laughs> We're off the phone now. Um, I'm eating overnight oats. If you guys have never made them, you should give them a try. They're healthy. You can put all kind of different fruit or anything that you want in them just like you would your regular oatmeal. The only thing is, is that it's cold oatmeal because it sits in the refrigerator overnight. I've made them here on my channel before, but I do really enjoy them and really like them. My stomach seems to do better sometimes with cold stuff anyways. So I'm going to go fix Cole's TV for him real quick that he wants. And we're going to go put some dinner in the crock pot. Thought that I would film that today for you guys. Today's, we just are going to be doing some random things around the house today that I need to get done. I need to edit the Valentine's Day video for the Real Clean Bee today because I got to upload it tomorrow. Um, so we're going to do dinner in the crock pot. Um... I want to clean out the linen closet in the hallway again. I just did that like not that long ago on camera for you guys. I want to get the linen closet cleaned. Um, I'm going to take all the seasonal blankets out and actually put them in a separate bag and store them in the attic for when fall and Christmas comes. Like because I have a lot of fall blankets and a lot of Christmas blankets that just need to get out of there because it could free up a lot of space in that closet right now because it is packed full of blankets and everything it's just driving me nuts so i want to get all that stuff out of there um i still have my winter bedspread on my bed and what i did today i'll show you guys i uh, actually flipped it over to just plain white for now but you can still see the snowflakes when i got it folded down like that but it's still winter time so it's fine either way but i'm actually going to get a new bedspread when spring gets closer and take this one and store it away like i did my christmas throw blankets for winter it's my winter blanket which i'm very grateful to have because i've never had a winter comforter before for like christmas you know and then like it's actually just for winter because it has just snowflakes so it's not just all christmas either really really windy out today like the house was like it's gonna blow away so it's it's gonna be bad um, so once we get Cole off to school, we'll clean out that closet, but I was going to go try to prep dinner really quick, uh, for y'all. So I'm going to do a pork loin roast. My husband is not a fan of roast, but my mom actually, uh, gave me this roast. So I want to make it and I feel like roasts are a little bit healthier. I like to add vegetables. So we're going to do that. We got carrots, potatoes, and maybe some peppers and an onion, of course. <laughs> And it's already seasoned. Like, I'll show it to you guys once we get out in the kitchen. So, that's what we're going to make for dinner tonight. And, yeah, I think that's all we're going to do today, guys. Everything I said, because I don't really know what else I'm going to get into. Cole's room was a disaster. He tore out, like, every single toy. I was going to film that for y'all, but I got up first thing this morning before he even woke up. Because he was in my bed this morning. And cleaned all that up because... It was crazy. We changed the sheets on the bed today. Scott. So yeah, let's go out and make dinner. I got another phone call. So I watched a bunch of videos last night, guys, on juicing. And I have done, like, obviously I had a really viral video on my channel when I was ill with acid reflux. I did, like, cabbage juicing and celery juicing. Um, so I've made those kind of videos before. But I thought that since I'm on a weight loss kind of journey, I'm not really doing the juicing for, you know, those... Well, I'm doing it for overall health, you know, but I would need to go to the store to get stuff to do a couple juice recipes, but they're not just going to be like celery juice. You know, I want to do like different juice recipes that have like a little combination of maybe like apples, spinach, cucumbers, stuff like like a little, you know, like a good flavored juice. And I will share that with you guys when I make one because I really want to try a few of them. So, um, yeah, like I said, we're making a pork loin in here tonight. Um, I have, going to spray this first, of course. All right, so here is the pork loaf that I have. It's from Aldi. Um, 
It's the garlic and pepper flavored one. It sounds really yummy. It's already seasoned. So I think it's already, I don't know if it's already, maybe it's not already cooked yet. So maybe not, but it just sounds really good. So we're just going to go ahead and put this in the bottom. I might put a little bit of butter in with it just to give it some extra, you know, butter makes everything taste better, right? Woohoo! She smells really good. Go ahead and add a half a stick of butter and we'll lay this on top of the roast and we're going to put all the vegetables um, in there as well. And then I do have some, some stock. So I might need to add like a little bit of vegetable broth or whatever I got. I think all I have is beef stock. I don't think I have anything else to be honest because I just realized, I know you could use water too. Maybe I need to figure out what to do with that. All right, I put my carrots in. I just had some baby carrots that needed to be used. These peppers need to be used. Guess what? I forgot that I had this chopper and here I am using my classic knife, whatever you want to do. That's how I used to always have to do my vegetables, but this thing makes my life so much easier. It is a veggie chopper um, and I really like it. I will say that. I almost forgot about it and then I realized, wait a minute, I don't have to do this by hand. <laughs> so um, my thing got a little bent up in the dishwasher it's hard to fit this thing on correctly, but it still works fine. It's just, uh, the thing is bent. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Wait till you hear what I'm saying Sounds like thunder And the clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus Breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me That I will take off Okie doke. And it is done. That chopper made my life so much easier. I don't really need to be adding salt because I guarantee there's enough salt. Um, I'm gonna add some pepper, garlic powder, maybe onion powder. Those are my go-tos. And then we're gonna add some beef broth. Little bit of rosemary, why not? All right, we are back. We're gonna clean out this linen closet. It is 11.20 now. Um, I've been kind of just wasting time the last hour or so. Uh, I was kind of in a really upsetting mood. <laughs> so I needed time to just kind of calm down. <laughs> but, um, Let's get back to it. I need a light. I want to show you guys what it looks like right now. This is currently what we're dealing with. It's just a mess. Um, these paper towels and toilet paper from Costco last us 
forever, which we're very grateful for. We don't have to buy that stuff very often. But this stuff up here just got to be fixed um, a little bit better. So I'm going to take all the fall Christmas stuff out and then I'm going to put back everything else kind of like a little bit neater than what it is. So let's do it. Isn't how I wanted to You see I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus Breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me That I will take off And find something between the lines. someone had told me that I will take off and find something greener, oh greener than gold. If someone had told me that I will be strong, oh, I'm gonna rise, gonna rise and fly and leave the gold between the paper towels and stuff kind of filled that back in fix that up a little bit it is now better than what it was I'll show you guys all the blankets that I got rid of but we have room now which is nice I found a spider and a spider web in the bottom <laughs> um, we have beach towels here which is kind of random pillowcases are right here these are all Kohl's sheets and fitted blankets this is the sheets to the guest room this thing actually needs to go back on Cole's bed the next time I change his sheets, which I changed them this morning, but forgot to put this back on. But the next time that I change, it's basically just a waterproof protector. I have like a small square one on his bed at the moment, but I think I want to go back to putting this one on. This is like, it does the, covers the whole bed. These are all my sheets for my bed over here. And honestly, I only like this set right here. These are too hot. They really are. I just I just should get rid of them. I don't know what to do. But I really like them. They're soft and comfortable, but they, I get too hot in them. And then we got Cole's comforters. He's got two other comforters up there. And these are all mainly Cole's like throw blankets that are just kind of random. They're not holiday inspired. They're just I have too much too much blankets, guys. I am a pillow and a blanket hoarder. I don't know. It's weird. 
but I have a lot of that stuff. So let me show you guys the blankets that I got, or the throws that I got rid of real quick. All right, this is everything that's going in a bag. So this is all the stuff, two piles of stuff that I just took out of that closet that is all um, fall and Christmas. So we definitely, I'm gonna try to put that upstairs in a trash bag probably. And when it gets closer to time for that time of the year, we can bring all that stuff down, but it'll be a little while before then. So I'm just wanted to get that out of there. It opened up a lot of space in the closet now. It looks a lot better. I need you. Back in late night, someone that I knew. I just hope you won't get hurt. I just hope you've been through worse. Sometimes I'm broken. Too much of emotions. Sometimes I'm the lighted. Don't wanna pick a fight with it. scrubbing with the mean green I've shared this on my channel before how to clean shoes how I like to do it um, that mean green works really good I scrub them first like that with hot water and then I just throw them in the wash machine so I got them in there with um, a very small load of clothes that hardly has like there's not a whole lot I just went ahead and threw my shoes in there with my clothes uh, some people might prefer to wash them separate I don't really see the point but I put it on a bulky setting on my wash machine, put the water on hot, put the laundry soap in, and I didn't add the scent beads um, today, but I have some scent beads that I've been really enjoying with my clothes. 
So I got some laundry to fold. We need to change the garbage can because it is maxed. I'm carrying a dead body. Should have waited for my husband on this one. It's heavy. <sighs> and there's no room right now in my attic, as you guys can see. I have no room because I got so much crap up here right now. Oh, shit. Stay. See what stay there? All right. It's a mess. show you guys my attic right now it's a freaking disaster and then behind me uh, my Easter tote is up here so I'm gonna have to dig that out these cushions is what's taken up a lot of the space behind me these go on the front porch so once that stuff gets out of here I can come up here and organize this mess a little bit better and then also, once the yard sale stuff gets out of here, it'll be that much better. I'm gonna wait on the laundry to get done. And then, let's see how dirty stuff is up here. Like, I'm sure it's pretty dirty. Yep, pretty dusty on top of these door frames. These pictures are disgusting, look at that. Yeah, so spring cleaning gonna have to happen very soon y'all very very soon this light that i'm looking at in the hallway looks so dusty i don't even know how dust unless it's on the outside i don't know how dust would get on the inside of it but it looks really dirty so i need to take my lights down and clean those but that is for another day's video but i think i'm gonna go get something for lunch and maybe fold these this load of clothes that I do have ready to fold and take a little little break here
this vlog with a grocery haul today so very productive kind of productive day <laughs> um, I got a lot of stuff done in the house but I also wanted to inform you all that dinner was very 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 good so we had a successful pork loin roast uh, my battery died when I was putting the rest of the stuff in the crock pot like I added a couple more seasonings to it like paprika I think I didn't get on camera Trying to think if there's anything else I added. Maybe some extra pepper whenever we were serving it. Um, we also put a little bit of shredded cheese on top. It was really good. And then I shared with my parents and they really liked it as well. So it was a hit. It was good. Good, easy, um, healthy for the most part. <laughs> Crock pot meal. I mean, had vegetables. I've ate vegetables all day. So... <laughs> I am really wanting something sweet now, so I'm going to have to get like a cookie or something here in a little bit because I'm just wanting something sweet. So we just got back from Walmart. We did a grocery pickup. Uh, we spent about $110, so I'm going to give you guys a little grocery haul um, on what we got. We got the townhouse crackers. We got this puffin corn for coal. We got some chips. We This time we decided to get the great value. This is the party size. Cheddar and sour cream, potato chips. We got some classic ranch dressing or dipping sauce, whatever. We mainly use it for dipping, but I do like it on salads too. But we got some Thai style sweet chili sauce. This stuff is so good. This is mine. <laughs> Nobody else eats this but me, but I love this stuff. Um, I needed some shampoo, so I went ahead and picked this um, because... I think you guys have heard me talk in a previous vlog, but that shampoo that I have that's from Costco, which is the Shea Moisture, it's like a coconut shampoo. I can't use it on my roots, so I have to use a different shampoo on my roots. So I wanted to go ahead and get a new one because the one that I am using in there right now is almost empty and it's about time to wash my hair. So um, I got this. I actually want to see what this smells like because, oh my God. Oh my god, why does that smell so good? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to smell like that good, but it smells like fresh green apple or something. Oh my god, that smells good. So it says, oh it does say it has apple extract in it. Oh my lord, y'all. Oh, wow. <laughs> that smells good. <laughs> so um, I used to use Garnet Fructis all the time growing up and I just I haven't used it for a really long time but this is the grow strong fortifying 
shampoo. Um, says it's anti-breakage, weak, fragile hair. But like I said, I'm mainly just using it on my roots so my roots don't get like super greasy from that other shampoo. Um, because I really like that other shampoo for my hair. It really conditions and hydrates it. But we got Cole some Mini Bear Honey Graham Cookies. Thought he would really enjoy those. We got the Pop-Tarts for the boys mainly. I don't really eat these. Every once in a while I'll break down and have to have just like one. But I don't, like I said, I don't really eat these. The boys love Pop-Tarts. Uh, my husband and Cole both really love Pop-Tarts. They're really not good for you, but they love them. So um, we got the brown sugar cinnamon. We got the frosted chocolate chip. Cole really been enjoying those lately, which this was one of my favorite ones. Um, that I really liked. Um, we got some maple brown sugar instant oatmeal. Um, you guys know I've been making, I told you that I was making my um, overnight oats. Well, my husband inf told me that he would like to have some oatmeal, but he wanted the instant kind that was uh, just already done and everything. So he always likes the classic maple brown sugar, which I really like this too. It is really good. Uh, but I'm going to try to continue to do my overnight oats with just old-fashioned oatmeal because this has probably a lot of additives to it so yeah more sugar in it than you know me doing it myself cinnamon toaster cereal this is my husband's favorite cinnamon toast crunch is basically this is the same thing but it's just malto meal brand we got the mozzarella cheese i'm gonna do spaghetti one night so we i'm gonna do the tiktok spaghetti because i am like addicted to that spaghetti versus regular spaghetti now so you just use like one can of regular tomato sauce pasta sauce whatever and then you need a thing of alfredo and you mix those together with your spaghetti i have all the other i have noodles um i did have to get some ground beef for that we got a lemon, one lemon, and it's kind of small. Um, I got this to do a juice recipe, so when I vlog again and I try out this juice, I'll share it with you guys, but I actually forgot the freaking ginger, and I don't know if my mom would have any. I just needed like a little piece, maybe about that big, of ginger to throw in the juice recipe. Um, we got some bananas. Um, this hummus is really good, called the honey jalapeno hummus. It's really good if you like a little spice. I like to dip my pretzels in this, so I got that. Um, some baby spinach. I mainly got the spinach for, I mean, for anything really, but my juice recipe called for some spinach. So this might take the entire container. I don't really know. So we'll see. Uh, when you juice, I will say this, it depends on like how much you're making, but you need a lot of produce and a lot of fruit to make juice, like a lot. And it's good in the summertime because I always end up with too much of something, like especially like a watermelon or something. That's a great way to like use up what you're not using is to just juice it. But yeah, I don't know this, I don't know. We'll see how much I end up making. But um, we got some granulated sugar, the peanut butter nutter cookies again, we got some of these maple, these sounded really good. Vermont maple sausage links. We got three, I think I got three sweet potatoes that you just do in the microwave um, to have as a healthy side. Uh, we got some English muffins. My husband requested those. And then we got milk, some more almond milk. Um, Got some sandwich white bread, and then I got this bread for myself, and I think what I'm going to do is just half this and then freeze the other half, so that way it doesn't go bad on me. I don't know if I'll be able to eat a whole loaf without it going bad. I, I literally shouldn't be eating that much bread anyways, but I got it's 100% whole grain. Um, we got some gala apples here. Apples go in the juice recipe. Um, so I think what it is, is it's apples, spinach, one lemon, a little piece of ginger, and then if you want to add two cups of kale, which I didn't buy the kale, I think I was just going to pass on the kale, but it also called for kale. So that's that juice recipe. 
Um, there's my other potato. Uh, I got some dragon fruit to try. I've never tried this. So, um, I thought I could try, it tells you in the back what you can make, like a smoothie. And you can also do, um, like a acai bowl or what's it called? A smoothie bowl, whatever, if you want, but whatever. I'm probably just going to put it in a smoothie, but I wanted to try it because I've never tried this before. Um, I got the Cherry Berry Blend. This is a three pound bag of just basically strawberries, blueberries, and cherries. Um, I thought that would be a really good smoothie. And then we got two pounds of ground beef chuck. Walmart's meat is a little pricey, but I've had overall luck with it as far as, um, when we've tried it before, it's been good, so I don't know. I normally buy the rolls, but buying it this way was just like a dollar, or not maybe not like a dollar, but like a little bit. Was it cheaper? I don't really know why I got it this way. I normally buy the rolls. So, anyways, I got two. We got sour cream and onion, potato chips. Um, some more family size sausage patties to have in the freezer and some hamburger buns and eggs. I think that's everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed that because I haven't done a haul on this channel for a while. I did it, I did just do one over on the Real Clean Bee as well. But, yeah. So, I'm glad that that's done. Now I gotta put everything away. My husband's currently got coal in the bathtub for me, which is so helpful and so nice. Uh, we got back and it's like 7 o'clock now, so <laughs> it's time to end the night. Um, put this stuff away, get Cole ready for bed, and then I got to do all my stuff. I'm probably going to go take a shower. Um, I need to hydrate because I'm like really dry right now. I have not drank a lot of water. I ate pretty healthy today for the most part, um, but I am starting to crave something sweet, so I'm going to have to find me something sweet and then I'm not going to eat anything else. But thank you guys for watching this day in the life vlog. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. And I will be back in a day or so. I don't know when I'm going to vlog again, but I'll be back. In the next vlog, I'll definitely show you guys the juice recipe that I'm going to try out. And just maybe some other stuff that I'm eating that's healthy to give you guys some motivation maybe to try. Um, I like to make a lot of smoothies. And I find that making smoothies is the best way to get your nutrients and your vegetables and your fruit in. If you're like me where you don't seem to eat a lot of stuff like that, I'd rather have it in a smoothie for whatever reason. I'd rather just drink it. It's like way easier to do. So <laughs> I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. This could be magical.